Welcome back to Bikini Girl in a Bodybuilding World. And if you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you're enjoying this series and what you'd like to see from me coming forward. But as you can see, this is my comeback show. So I have, you know, covered this quite a bit on my stories and Instagram and all of that stuff too, but I did get a lot of behind the scenes footage as well. So I wanted to put this together for you in a little video that you can watch during your cardio or whatever. Um, I did take the train up to New York, so that's what you're seeing right here, a little footage from the train. I really loved the train. I wish I could take it everywhere because it was just so easy. If you ever have that option as a competitor, please take the train. Oh my goodness, it is the best way to travel. So it was a lot of fun. <laughs> as I got to the hotel, they were setting up all of the Fender tables, things like that. This was on Thursday, getting prepared for Friday. And the great thing about this hotel is right attached to it is a fantastic gym. So I was able to get my training in. Now, I did go up on Wednesday, so I was there every day training a couple times a day. <laughs> they got to know me real well in that gym right there. So, but they had everything that you could possibly need, which is amazing as a competitor. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, and here's a little bit of footage from check-ins on Friday night. Everybody getting all their numbers in, vendors getting their booths set up, and just kind of scared. I did have the opportunity to get on stage at check-ins. I always recommend you do this so you can get a feel for what the stage is going to be like the next day. This was a really well-built stage. It was very solid, felt really comfortable on it, so I'm really glad I got a chance to get up there and actually pose a little bit that night. And of course, get my check-in photo. And got to meet Nadia for the first time, making her pro debut. And then after check-ins, I got together with Jordan and we went through my posing and physique assessment. Jamie was on the other line uh, on FaceTime. She was across the country in California at a show. So Jordan was her eyes here in person, but Jamie was there on FaceTime to see what I looked like. And this was that evening um, prior to going to get my tan on, obviously. I was nice and full. I was really, really happy with how I looked that night. Good. Good. I totally screwed that up. No, you didn't. It's good. It's <laughs> I, 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 I don't know where I am right I now. I couldn't even tell. <laughs> couldn't even I tell. was supposed to do a hair flip, but I did not do it. <laughs> could not even tell. <laughs> if that happens, that happens. Okay. And this was the following morning. I had had one meal at this point. I was in the middle of doing my hair when Jordan came by with, uh, again, getting Jamie on FaceTime with us. Now this is the part that I really wanted you guys to see. The first of these two pictures here is when I first woke up in the morning after my first meal. And then the second was after I had filled out with more food and more water prior to going down for pre-judging. It is such a huge difference and I'm super thankful that I had those eyes on me with uh, Jamie and Jordan so that I was filled out. I mean, I was really thin when I woke up and man, the food just did its job.
This is our initial walk out on stage prior to individuals or comparisons. And this was the part that I was super excited about because I knew I was gonna be in that lineup with Laura Lee and I knew I would be able to see exactly how I looked in comparison to her. So this was, this was what I came for right here. And these pictures just really said it all to me. Um, my shape is very comparable. You know, just looking at this one shot here, you can see I am bigger than the other girls, but I kind of have to be because I am about an inch taller than everybody on that stage. Just need to bring that conditioning in a little bit tighter. And then this picture for me was like the money shot, right? When I look at myself, I look at my shape in comparison to Laura Lee. My shape is very comparable to her. Now, she has phenomenal glutes, so I can see exactly where I need to grow. But man, this, again, this shot is what I came for. This is why I entered this show. This made me so happy to see I need to get those glutes on point and I need to get my conditioning on point. And I'm right there, right there. This was, this was, this was awesome to see. What's up, you guys? I just got back from prejudging. Actually, I went and had some food. Had some salmon and a salad, so um, had to get some food in me. And I wanted to do the story before I took my suit off and everything and put my feet up till finals. Uh, prejudging went well. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been on stage, and I definitely felt the nerves kick in um, when I was stepping up there. And I felt a whole lot better once I got into comparisons, but. It was freezing backstage, so it was really hard for me to get a pump, and then also shaking because I was so cold. Uh, so that translated over to shaking on stage a bit, and um, unfortunately, that kind of thing happens. It is what it is. You got to deal with it and keep moving. So, uh, with that, my overall look is the best overall look I've ever put on stage. Like hair, makeup, suit, posing, tanning, all of it. I love. And just to finish out the show day I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite stage shots some behind the scenes backstage footage and some fun pictures of course as well so hope you enjoy those And of course, our night out would not be complete without the dessert footage. You know, just 
she said, come here. Okay. <laughs> Key lime pie, which is two layers of the graham cracker with a toasted meringue, cookies and cream Oreo, coconut cream pie for the spring menu, pecan cheesecake, hints of caramel, pecan pie with vanilla bean mousse, and the last one is uh, peanut butter. Mm. So what happened was... Is there an awful awesome one? Like, all of them. Yeah, that's <laughs> like... Unfortunately, there is not. Oh, you're fired, Jamie. You're fired. That's it, huh? Ooh, goodness gracious. Oh, my God. And I really wanted to thank Jennifer, Jared, and Holly for coming out because that really made my evening. It was a blast. It was just what I needed to finish out the show day. And uh, had my energy drink at dinner and then went to sleep. <laughs> The following day I went to Hoboken where I used to live and this was the gym that I used to open up every morning right here. And that is where I used to live, right here. It's been a while, but this is my old neighborhood. Looks a little different now. And this was the pier just kind of hung out for a little while and enjoyed the view and my rice cakes, rice and chicken for the day. Because of course the work is never done. And after a beautiful day, my flight was canceled. So I had to rent a car to drive home. But we are on the road to our next show, which will be the Dallas Pro the weekend of June 18th. So we got another just over three weeks to go and we'll be back on stage again to do it all over again. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Bikini Girl in a Bodybuilding World and let me know in the comments below what else you would like to see. And thank you again so much for joining me along this journey. It really has made it a whole lot of fun. Follow me over on Instagram. That's where I update the most. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Like, comment, subscribe, you guys. And thanks always. Thank you for your support. Really appreciate it.